Yeah, well, that's what I want to see. I want to see, uh, you know, last one. I want to see us, you know, kind of carry over the, you know, what we've been able to put together the last couple of weeks and stay on that track. You know, I mean, it's been, uh, you know, same kind of preparation, same kind of attention to detail, uh, you know, just work to get better, be better this week than we were last week. The decision to play Montgomery, was that based on health? Yeah, but yeah, I mean health and uh you know, Nate didn't get a chance to practice a lot during the week. Nate was available. Um but you know, we were moving it pretty good and and uh you know, so I mean Nate Nate was beat up after the after the uh North Dakota State game, but he you know, he's he got healthy towards the end of the week, but he didn't practice much, so um but he was available if we needed him. Uh, I don't know, we'll see how the week goes. Not sure. They'll both be available to play. Do you feel like that's given you like a bit of an advantage this year that you had not mentioned in the viable quarterbacks, you know, as far as you know, game planning, you know, giving opponents more looks. Yeah, and we, you know, Joe, you haven't seen Joe much, but uh, you know, he he's, you know, he's a viable guy too. We have confidence in him also, and um, yeah, you know, it's it gives you some flexibility, and uh, you know, and the nice thing about it is, you know, we don't really change our offense much, regardless of. Who's in there? Quarterback maybe lean towards a couple things that are a little bit different, but not much. Well, what's the biggest change you've seen the last few weeks? Well, I mean, first of all, the I mean, we came out with energy, and and uh, um, I don't know. You know, sometimes you get sometimes you need a wake up call, and I, I we got it. But you know, it, it, every week's a challenge. You know, every week you got to come out. You know, like I said a couple weeks ago, you got to find a way week in and week out and uh um you know i mean it just you know you I, you know i don't i don't i wish i knew exactly uh you know we i mean i don't change much week to week, to week and um you know we work for a level of consistency and and uh you know last two weeks you know i think we responded and um you know, because you know, let's face it. You know, when you when you find yourself in a sit in this in this situation that we're in, you know, it's it be, it becomes difficult. You know, I mean that it, it's you know you you know you kind of you're out of the playoffs. But I I like the way our guys have responded. Can a good performance on Saturday and a couple in a row kind of carry over for you guys into the off season and into the next season? Well, I don't know about all that, but you know, the next one, you know, I always think you know I have the approach control what you can control and that's this week and uh, I mean I it wouldn't hurt I can tell you that but uh, um, you know I just want to play well I mean that's 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 to challenge our guys you know I, and uh, you know go out play with energy play hard you know increase your effort level once again and uh, you know have a good week of practice and if we if we have a good week of practice usually so it'll carry over you know and you haven't seen I haven't seen that, you know, I mean, obviously we haven't played perfect, but I haven't seen over the last couple of weeks the glaring mistakes that, that, that killed, that hurt us early in the year. And uh, the, the lack of uh, detail, the lack of uh, focus, you know, whatever it may be. You know, we haven't been, yeah, yeah, we have had guys miss things here and there, but it hasn't been, you know, like an epidemic like it was early in the year. Well, with that being said, is that your biggest disappointment as you look back on the season? Is, is the mistakes? And, and yeah, we were. All, we, you know, when we, you know, I always believe, you know, as a as a coach, you got to make people beat you. You can't beat yourself, and we we beat ourselves a lot, way too much. And it, and it wasn't because of, uh, and, and I don't I don't know. You know, that, that's the frustrating part. Is I, I'm not exactly sure why that was happening, and uh, you know, it, it's. You know, but we're we're heading in a good direction. I think you know the last two weeks we're probably playing our best football, and that needs to continue. Well, I think I don't think you can ever be a good football team. You know, I was just talking to another coach last night, and uh, um, that you can't you have to be able to run the foot. You have to have a balanced offense. And uh, you have to be able to 
um, make yards on the ground. People respect your running game, and and uh, it's you're you're not going to be a consistent football team, and if you can't do that, and uh, and that'll be a challenge this week. You know that you got to you have to, each week you have to. It it always starts up front. It starts on offense with being able to run the football, and it starts on defense being able to stop the run, and that's where we've been better the last couple of weeks, and and on, on both sides of the football. You guys gone back and watched the last year from the Oh yeah, we I watch always. That's always part of it. How was that? You know, it was like it was like it was two week two weeks ago. That was our game. It was like that was our game last year. I mean, um, we we played we played we didn't play very well, and um, we had missed opportunities early, and and uh, you know it was just we didn't play we didn't play well. Yeah, so. Uh, that that was uh, we we did not play well last week, last year. How have they changed though, the Um, not a lot. I mean, uh, a little bit different. I mean, it, a lot of similarities to what they they have been. You know, they, I mean, they they start. You know, they're on offense. It starts with their running game. They have their uh, running back. I think it's twenty five. Is oh. yeah, he's. He's as good a back as there is in the league. I mean, he's a really good football player, and uh, starts with him. Starts with being able having to limit him and and make sure we um, are physical and play the run game well. If not, you if you don't if you don't play well against these, this guy and you don't tackle well, you're gonna you're in for a long day. Um, and then offensively, you know, you it's they they're gonna do what they do. They're they're uh, um, some four man front some some bare front, you know, like a th like almost like a 34 look. Um they're going to they're going to run their stuff and and uh you got to execute. How many chances go back and watch the tape? Where did you see the gap in the left tackle? Was that something that you had considered previously? Um he did. He played a, we put him in a little bit of left tackle uh, the week before and I mean those those ends we were playing last week were really good and uh you know the uh, you know we wanted to get a veteran guy out there you know to to match up with them and uh, you know that because that was a, a big part of the game plan. Well, did you do anything special for the senior during practice at all this week, or not, or that much? Ask him to work hard. You know, <laughs> you know. No, I mean, you know, we've we've talked about it, and I mean, there's nothing. If you ask him, to, am I going to have a parade? No, I'm not going to do that. But uh, um, our guys understand that. You know that I, I I have a lot of respect for those guys and uh, what they've done here for the last four years and and uh, you know we want the best way to honor them is to go out and coach my best game for them and and uh, for the players to play for them play you know honor them by the, by how you play and uh, um, you know we have to get that energy once again go on the road and and uh, and play our butts off. Well, he's a great kid. I mean, I've enjoyed being around him, and uh, you know, like I said, I last year I got a chance to meet him. Uh, I think it was last December, or January, and and uh, you know, I you know Montgomery after this game, you know, he's he's a, he wants to he wants to go into coaching, and uh, you know, it's going to be. Uh, um, I think he has a bright future in the profession if that's if he continue if he decides to to stay that that course and go that road. I don't know if I recommend that to anybody, but uh, um, you know it's kind of in his family, so um, he'll do he'll do a nice job. He has a, he has a great work ethic. He's smart, um, um, and that's where it starts. No matter what you're in. Why wouldn't you recommend coaching? I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> it can shorten your life real quick. I have as much respect for Armin for AD as I have any almost anybody I've ever coached. I mean, I think he's uh, um, he's been a treat to to coach. I mean, he's not the biggest guy, he's not the fastest guy, he's not you know he's not the prototypical linebacker, but he's a football player, and uh, he's smart. He brings it every day. Um, that's that's what you want. And uh, you know he, he's uh, 
Uh, he's been everything that I was hoping he was going to be when when I recruited him, and uh, it's been. And, and on top of that, he is a absolutely tremendous character kid, tremendous young man. He's going to have a lot of. He's going to have tremendous success in his life. He's a uh, a great kid to be around.